Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our aplus.net account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the portal. We'll log in. And here you can see the aplus.net portal. This screen is the equivalent of your control panel as aplus does not use the cPanel control panel or any other popular control panel. So we'll go down to web design to the WordPress installer and click launch. We'll click on install WordPress and as you can see we receive an error message that says you have no databases you should create one in database manager to install WordPress. We'll click OK. We'll click the back button and we'll go down to advanced we'll click on show more in advanced now there is no actual database manager in the advanced section nor does it exist anywhere else within the portal so what we will do is we'll click on the MySQL manager and we'll click launch the first thing we're going to have to do is add a database user. Here the screen asks us to add a new database username. Although it doesn't ask us for a username, it actually asks us for a password. So to keep it simple, we'll just copy and paste our password from the welcome email. This is the same password we use for the aplus.net control panel or portal as they call it. You can use whatever password you'd like. We'll click the apply button. New database username has been added successfully. Now here you can see even though we've created the username under available databases the field is empty. So we still need to add the database so we'll click on the database name and here you can see the username and we'll enter the same password then we'll click login here you can see that the database username is here the database type is here the database host is here but still we have no available database so We'll click on Create, Database. Now it asks us for a database name. To keep it simple, we'll call it DB1 and click the Build Query button. Next, we'll click the Run Query button. Query has been processed. Excuse me, Query has been preceded successfully. Tells us what the privileges are for our database. We'll just click OK. And we'll click the Log Out button. Now we'll go back to the portal and we'll click on the WordPress installer. We'll click on Install WordPress. We'll click OK here. We need to fill in our login information. And we'll also check the box for advanced options. So we need to create an administrator username. We'll just use the same username as our login. password. We'll copy and paste the password we use for the portal and for the database to 
keep it simple. We'll paste the same password. And for the email, we'll add admin at ncmtest01.com as that is the domain name we will be installing WordPress on. Here we can see the database user has been filled in for us. The database name has been filled in for us. The host has been filled in for us. And all we need to do is confirm that WordPress will be installed in the public HTML folder, which here is just labeled public. That's fine. We'll click Next. We'll click yes. And the message tells us that the WordPress installation is complete. We'll click the close button. Next we'll take a look at our WordPress installation and we'll click the Manage WordPress link. We'll log in using the username and password we used for the previous steps. And here you can see our brand new WordPress dashboard. To create a new post we simply click on plus new post. We enter a title for our new post here and enter our content here. But we won't be creating a new post today. We'll just take a look at our site by using the visit site link at the top of the WordPress dashboard. And here you can see our brand new WordPress site. We can change the site title and our site tag using the WordPress dashboard. We can also delete the Hello World default post using the WordPress dashboard. I would like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM Online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.